Hey, it's John Losh from Legacies on the Rails, www.legaciesontherails.wordpress.com. I'm at the former Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Depot in Parkville, Missouri, that was built by Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy in 1889, was active for passenger traffic for CB&Q through the 1970s. It's now part of, it was the former city hall here in Parkville. I'm with Kathy Klein. Uh, she has an art gallery here. You can see several of her photos behind her, and we've had a great talk. Her and my friend Jordan over here, uh, Jordan Gallagher, Railmaster87 on Twitter. Um, and she uh, has shown me some number of great pieces. She has a piece over here of the uh, Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. And we're talking about maybe doing some events where we would have artists come in and paint trains because the train track is right behind us. Jordan and I just caught a BNSF cold drag coming in here today. And so, Kathy, tell us what you know about the depot here and how your art gallery got started. And she's got her puppy here with her today. So tell us what you know about this place. This is the first stop on our, our Legacies on the Rails road show. So we're going to make you the first debut here. Okay. Well, I'm very honored. My name is Kathy Klein. This is my little gallery dog, Bogey, after Humphrey Bogart. There you go. Got to so, love Bogey. <laughs> and so this is a lot of the art on my wall that represents myself. I represent Darla Zook and Kathy Thompson, and I'm very honored to have Gary Staub of StaubStudios.com. And Gary is known for his bronze work and just about any natural science museum that you go into, you're going to find Gary's work. And he works on a very grand scale, his um, dinosaurs and uh, an entire herd of mastodon is in the works right now. Maybe some of you have heard about the in Italy, the Iceman was discovered. Gary will be replicating him as he crawled down into King Tut's tomb and replicated King Tut himself. Um, as we walk around this way a little bit, we come into the, the part of the depot where on this wall, it used to be where they would bring in freight walk it across this big room and load the trains. And then it came out this door on the other side beneath these windows. And on the other side of this wall is the original brick. And let's go this way and we can see some of okay. the other points of interest. We'll just follow Bogey here. <laughs> this is the, in, the um, original depot, I don't know what it's Office. Called the office, and you can see the original rails on the window, the bars, and this is where you would come and purchase your ticket, right here through this little window. And this is now the Chamber of Commerce office, correct? Yes, now okay. it's the Parkville Area Chamber of Commerce. And as you come in here, this was the waiting room. And people would come in here, and this was also an additional place to buy your ticket. Wow. This is a painting that shows uh, Symphony in the Flint Hills, and it's a little bit of history as well with an old schoolhouse, the children in the schoolyard playing Duck, Duck, Goose. That's gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, but this shows just a little bit of my work. I teach in this room, and I specialize in portraiture. Landscape's still live. Got Jackie Kennedy. And we also do plein air, so this will come up to our fourth year we're going to be doing art in Parkville, and we'll be partnering with many vineyards and wineries and spirits and have a wonderful art fest, art and wine fest. But this is where, let's go outside. Okay, so you've got another, you've got another real piece there, a caboose yes, there. Yes, that's another caboose, and that's out at the um, Overland Park Arboretum. Okay, another site I'm going to have to visit. And there's the railroad tracks right there. Here's the railroad and the old original brick on the ground. And this is where the one of the train men would look inside this window and be able to tell if a train was coming and to give everybody warning to get ready to get boarded onto the train. This is awesome. I'm this sure this is the same tracks that we caught that cold drag coming down earlier. So Yes. You can see English Landing Park right there across the tracks. And as, as we look north. Which is where they hold Parkville days. Yes. 
Parkville Days is very famous in Parkville. We were just there back back uh, when they had it this year, so. And here we have the most beautiful Gothic Park University. It's the most diverse university in all of the United States. The college boys actually built the bricks to build that building. I'm very proud to be in this location. And Mr. Park that helped found the city of Parkville in the 1850s actually donated the land for Park University. So he came here in the 1830s. And this, like I said, this depot was built by the Chicago Burlington and Quincy in 1889. So there's some very diverse history here. So once again, this is the first stop on the Legacies on the Rails Roadshow here with Jordan Gallagher and Kathy Klein here in Parkville, Missouri. And we're excited about starting this trip and getting around to some of these old depots. And like I said, and we're going to be working closely with Kathy here in the near future to uh, do some, some shows with some artists doing train pictures and whatnot. And very possibly we could even have the Legacies on the Rails Railroad Art Show. So That's I'm excited right. about that. So Kathy, thanks again for being with us. And tell us where the people can find you on the web. And I'm at kathykleinartgallery.blogspot.com, kathykleinart.com. Okay. And it's so nice to meet you. You too. We appreciate you, you being on the Legacies on the Road, Rails Roadshow today. Thanks, Kathy. Thank appreciate you. it. Bye-bye.